So in a comment on my last video, I said I'd do something to tell you how to get the best ray tracing performance in Debian Linux. Um, I'm going to do Portal with RTX first. Basically, this is just about installing two packages. I didn't know this, how simple this is going to be. Um, in my last video, I hadn't realized how much the performance was hampered by having Mango Hood installed with default. It caps frames per second incredibly low. I think it's to 40, actually. Uh, I found that out when I realized my GPU uh, graphics card wasn't being fully utilized. It was about half, so I realized I could go a lot faster. Um, basically, now I'm getting pretty much the same performance in terms of frames per second, but at 1440p. So uh, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got Portal RTX. It's with RTX. It's uh, installed on Steam. I've got this in the launch options. Uh, basically, you don't need any of that. No vid is to stop the video playing at the start. Um, and this is just to get us some kind of display. But I'm, like I say, I'm not using Manga Hood because it caps the frame rate. I don't see any reason to use it when I've got this that doesn't cap the frame rate and I don't have to add any additional settings for. Um, let's see how it plays and see what issues there might be. Takes a while to start up. Takes a while for this to initialize too. Okay, so up to 54 frames a second. That's not going to be. Uh, oh, and there we go. All the textures are loaded in, and now we're down to 40. That's going to be about typical as we, as we progress. Okay, so all working. Hopefully, this time, you can hear my microphone a lot better. I have just clipped outside the map. I've never done that in Portal at all. Okay, quite weird. First time ever clipping outside the map in, in Portal. Anyway. Basically, that's that. Okay, 36, 37, 38, 32, 27. Yeah, getting various frame rates. I've got the settings fairly high. I have got um, TU-A on as the um, there, as the upscaler. That's the only reason you get anywhere decent performance on this. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to save the game. No, one thing I've noticed is it doesn't does not stop. You have to um, manually stop it. Don't know what's still hung. Have another look. Doesn't seem to affect anything else about the game. Okay. So how are we going to speed that up, and uh, what kind of um, improvement we're we going to get? Well, we're only going to get about ten to fifteen percent improvement. Since I've done this, Foronix has now actually tested this properly across different different um, things. So basically this is competition between the uh, MESS's RAD V driver and AMD VLK. Uh, default with MESS comes RAD V. Um, and so I just have I just have these options. Um, usually I just have command and ovid for that, but I'm adding an overlay for this video, so I've got that on one as well. What you have to add to get um, to use NDV, okay, is this. You have to tell it which ICD, Vulkan ICD to load. You also have to go to this page here, um, AMD's own AMD VLK page. Now, I thought this was going to be some kind of complex compilation process, sticking libraries in the right places. Turns out they just do Debian packages, and you download both of these Debian packages, you install them. If you have any trouble with that, let me know in the comments. Um, you should just you should just be able to install them, and they don't seem to affect anything else. It's a single library when you actually look at what's in those files, um, and you can just specify it in the um, in the loader. Here. So let's go back, and put that in. Uh, I'm going to keep the overlay in. 
Let's think we're overwriting this. Um, I have failed to put a space. So that's it. We're setting a few um, environment variables and we're still just running the command with Novid and that's it basically. Uh, oh, just to mention compatibility layer. I've got um, G Proton 9 version 10. That's a glorious egg roll post plus Proton version. Again, ask in the comments if you don't know how to do that. Yeah, there's loads of videos on how to get that. Uh, Proton up QT is the best, simplest interface to get those newer versions of that, of glorious egg roll Proton installed. Anyway, we've got the um, got the ICDs in there. Let's play the game. I guess I've only unlocked one achieve achievement, that doesn't sound right. I finished the game. Okay, so let's just load a game again, see what we're getting to. So last time I was trying with this, there was certain disadvantages of running the different one. So yeah, we're clocking above 40 now. Yeah, we're still going down, still going down low. Pretty much never below 30 now. So yeah, looks like an improvement to me. Like I say, it's only 10 to 15 percent, but just means you're not leaving anything on the table. Um, we don't know why the Mesa ones just have that 10 to 15 percent performance drop. I'll link the Foronix um, performance tests in. But yeah, it just gets you just closer to just being a bit more, a bit more playable. And this, by the way, is with a lot more things enabled. I love these reflections. The textures on the mountain. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Well, that's it, basically. Get Proton up on there. Get the lowest version of Glorious Egg Roll, just in case. Um, yeah, like I say, there are ways you can speed this up even further just by turning off loads of effects but this is pretty much all you get to it let's um oh well, while i'm here um alt and x to bring up this bring up this gui let's change the rendering and change max lights bounces to one that's really the only um massive increase in frame rate you're going to get so there we go we're almost getting to 50 sometimes now but yeah i kind of think it defeats the point of ray tracing if you're only having that one bounce. Oh, I don't know. Still looks pretty good. Uh, what else can you turn off? Um, particle light does have a bit of an effect. Ow. There you go. Bit of performance bump by just installing a couple of packages and uh, putting a line in the launch options. Good luck. Let me know if this helps or anything else. Have a good day.